this for five minutes now. You get, that's not the comfortable side of your cat bed. Are you done or are you continuing? I think you're done for now. Good kitten internet. Um, today's a very special day for me. Today is my cat's birthday. No, not that one. Not that one either. Not even that one. It's actually that one. Uh, or you probably saw in the thumbnail anyway. But uh, that is my first cat. So I wanted to talk about him. Um, technically not the first cat I've lived with because my mother was pregnant at the same time as her cat Spooky was pregnant. And I, th I don't remember if Spooky's litter was immediately before or immediately after I was born. But basically, Spooky the mama cat raised her litter with me and adopted me into her litter type of thing. So she would drag her babies over to my crib and that way she could watch all of us, including myself. Um, or when they got a lid for my crib, she would squeeze the kittens into the crib itself and then lay on top of the lid. So she would be able to watch all of us because it was a transparent lid apparently. Uh, this is well before anything I have resembling a memory, but what I'm talking about today is that kitty right there. That's Sam. Sam is the first cat that I specifically remember. And so interesting thing about Sam. So Sam um, was a part of a pair of cats that my mother adopted. Um... Sam would have been a little bit younger than me, but not by a whole bunch. Like, I think at the time this picture was taken, Sam might have been five, four, something like that. And I would have been about six. So, five or six. So, Sam was only a couple of years younger than me. But, yeah, because Sam came from Florida, which means that Sam at least is three years younger than... All right. At the youngest is three years on, younger than me, so this would actually be Sam's 35th birthday. Or 36th. Or 37th. Anyway, um, point is, Sam is was a part of a pair of cats that mother, mother adopted that looked very similar to a pair of cats that she had when she was younger. Uh, the only difference was that they mislabeled Sam at the adoption place. I don't know what the shelter was. I just know that he was adopted. And Sam was listed as a spade female instead of male. Interesting how in the world they spade male. Um, could be that Sam was intersex. I don't think so, though. Never really came up, but uh, my mom ended up having to get him spayed again. Or not spayed, neutered again. Um, and that didn't even work properly, apparently, but that's another story. But Sam was the cat that I remember, specifically. Um, the reason why I know that Sam's birthday is April 4th, which is today, is because we had a birthday party for him when I was younger. And I know as an adult now why my mother did this, not just because I was a cat-obsessed kid, like anything's changed, but also because I didn't have siblings. I also didn't have family nearby or anything like that, which meant we didn't celebrate all that many birthdays. So it would have just been my mother's birthday, my father's birthday, and my birthday. All of us are concentrated toward the end of the year, middle to end of year, so we need to have some type of celebration. April, sure, we'll celebrate the cat's birthday. Um, Sam would get a can of tuna every year, or some other type of fish. That was it. It was just an excuse to have a celebration. But Sam was my cat once I got older. 
Um, Sam would follow me around. He would loaf around the house constantly. He was not a particularly energetic cat, unlike all three of my cats today. But um, he would act as my pillow. He would snuggle up with me if I was cold. He was my cat. He had some problems, though. Um, he had urinary tract issues where he would miss the litter box. Um, today, I actually know enough to be able to correct those issues. My parents didn't at the time and used punishment instead, which just made things worse. Not to mention my father is even worse than I am at cleaning litter boxes. I don't ever get them as bad as he did. So that didn't help things either. And eventually my family decided to get rid of him. My cat. It's not the first time that happened. There's a reason why I'm overly attached to my cats. Um, but an interesting anecdote. So this would have been, I would have been about eight at the time. Um, we had two cats at the time, Sam and Cookie. Cookie. It's not just Cookie, but Cookie. I named her. I, come on, I was seven when I named her. Whatever, anyway. Um, and Cookie was an unspayed female cat uh, who went into heat and broke out of the house um, eventually. But before she went into heat, um, as my mother put it, Sam comforted her, even though it shouldn't have been possible. Sam never behaved like an unneutered male, so I'm not sure what was going on with that. I was definitely too young at the time. Oh, my housemate's returning. But there is a distinct possibility that one of the kittens from that litter was Sam's. And there was, in fact, a gray tabby kitten in that litter. Graystroke, uh, who was another one of my cats later on. Graystroke and Badger. Badger was a cow kitty, just like Cookie was. But anyway, I just wanted to briefly share that today's Sam's birthday. Happy birthday, Sam. I'll see you next time, Internet.